First business is the election of the mayor. I've preempted myself. This is uh, yes, a year and a little bit since I started uh, my mayorality, and uh, we changed the constitution. It makes me think in 30 years being a councillor, I'll be able to do this. It's going to be easy. And the council in Swiss to change the way we organise and do things. So. I will uh, move on again. It is. Thank you. I will now ask uh, the assembled members and visitors to join me in standing and holding a minute's silence in memory of uh, late Alderman and Councillor Kate Wood. Can I ask everybody to stand up? Yes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, uh, elected members, new members, who will do that part of the uh, council of the second part, which is next week. Uh, in my final uh, address as the mayor, I would like to say good evening to everybody, of course, and um, start off by saying I'm like a good quality pair of curtains. I'd like to pull myself together very quickly. You will notice those members that were here and those visitors that were here last year, I became very emotional in my uh, acceptance speeches, mayor. I, I lost the plot a few times during the meeting. And uh, I've continued on the same day and this evening. Hopefully from now on, <laughs> it will be downhill. <laughs> but, um, What I would like to say is uh, it's been an absolute honour to represent the world for this last year. Uh, so and I, the mayoress, have really, really fully enjoyed every, every aspect of it. Uh, and so much so that we've actually attended 
approximately over 541 engagements that's made in the S. Um, we would be delighted to see the varied aspects that we have on the world. It is amazing to see so many wonderful people doing so many wonderful things. Uh, and that is people working for the communities, charities, uh, and we were really heartened by the wealth and support given by so many people to our communities and charities, the skills and the nations and such diversity required in all aspects of life. They really came to the fore. I am really proud, so am I. We, we've said this quite a few times throughout the year, how proud we are to be the Mayor of World. The people that we meet on the peninsula are just absolutely fantastic. We should, and I'm sure you will agree with us, be proud of the amazing talents that we have here on the world. These include all sorts of things, including sports, art, acting, music. And uh, can we also thank the parents and guardians of lots of our young people and students on the world. Uh, soon I had the great opportunity to invite uh, many young groups of people into the, to the council to give them an insight of what we actually do and what we are. And I was delighted to, to, to bring so many young people in, into the, uh, the town hall and, and see what we're all about. Uh, a big thank you to parents, guardians and, and helpers in, in bringing those children into the, to the town hall. I'd also like to thank the support that we received from so many members of the council staff and, and the elected members in our area. Uh, really have shown their loyalty to the morality and helping in uh, many of the events that have taken place in front and behind the scenes. Your hard work is given that's been so much appreciated, appreciated by Sumai. Our charities uh, would never have had the possibility to receive so much money without the dedication of the work that was done by so many. Uh, I'd like to thank people, but in no particular order. E everybody deserves the highest honour that I could possibly thank them for. Because we really do work very well for this. Uh, I will start with uh, our secretary, Sue, Sue Carroll. Thank you to Sue and Sonia for all their hard work. Also to Barbara Margaret and Margaret. A special thanks to Carol Jackson. Unfortunately, I can't be here this evening. She absolutely works at socks off for the morality. Uh, I'm really, really impressed by the amount of work that she does. Uh, we've also been greatly helped, especially with our charities, by all those people, and as I said, members of the, the group. I, I've got to say, uh, George Davis, thanks very much. George and the old mates, you've been absolutely wonderful in helping the morality in, in many ways this year. A personal thanks from Sue and I to you. Thank you very much, George. I'd also like to thank uh, Beth Glover for being my chaplain this year. And this is where I pause, because the one thing I would like to do is, is thank our cadet of the year, and, and, um, who started as Sergeant Sir Charlotte Steen. I'm pleased to say there's another rank of, uh, what? Yes, absolutely. She's now flight sergeant, Steve. Uh, Sue and I were really impressed by uh, the courtesy that you gave us and uh, the hard work that you put in in supporting us through our year. So, can I ask you to come up and receive an award for us?
It really was a wonderful event. I can't go on and say how many things that we've done. I've already said we've done over 500. It's been absolutely wonderful. Of those 500, I can't say, I only asked for three. That was to visit my old school, a friend of mine, uh, and to visit two of our charities that we supported this year. The rest, the general public and the good people of the world, support the morality, and they ask for the mayor to go and the mayor's department. Uh, and I'm really supportive and I'm thank thankful to those people. Can't leave out Nick. Nick, uh, Carl, and Paul, who've uh, been the mayor's attendants uh, throughout the year, who've done an absolutely wonderful job in supporting us. Uh, I know Nick, Paul's been here for a while as, as a temporary part. Uh, Carl has just come in and done it for, for a short time. But Nick, I'd like to thank you for all the great work that you've done to Sue and I and support us throughout this year. We've been to many, many occasions and many uh, events. And like everybody, when you come into a role, you just don't know what it's about. Uh, and you need a little bit of guidance and help. And Nick has been a stalwart in, uh, in helping us throughout our year, making sure we, we address the right people. <laughs> I get that wrong sometimes as well. In the right manner, they more than enough for the people following the Lord I share. But there we are. Um, yes, next next slide is it's it goes beyond just the normal thing of taking study events and getting them served at the right time. It's the ability to move it in the right direction, to talk to the people that need to be spoken to, and it's also the guidance and things away from the people that actually you don't need to talk to. Uh, you find when you, Steve and uh, Les, you find out when the year comes, there are some very lovely people on the North Peninsula who want to get the ear of the mayor will not stop talking. So it's ben beneficial in both ways. So Sue and I would like to thank you, Nick. We really are uh, the store of what you've done for us. So much so, in the uh, conversation with the the Lord Lieutenant in one of your head, uh, only a few weeks back, she remarked on how would you manage without him? And I said, I'm sure they'll find somebody to replace him, but at the time, uh, for the time being, there's no one as good as you. So, Nick, thank you very much. I'd also like, as I said, uh, last, the last but not least, uh, as, as I mentioned in my column every week in the newspaper, I would say about the people that we meet, uh, the wonderful things that we've done. But the one thing that's really uh, stood out for Sue and I this year is the amount of work that's done by so many young people on the road. Uh, and the press is not very good. There was always a good news story. It never gives a good news story. And we've been absolutely astounded and amazed by the amount of work that's been done by uh, the young people on this peninsula. Uh, thousands and thousands of pounds are raised by different groups each year without, without any need for publicity in any way. Just get on and do the job. Uh, we were really amazed and we are absolutely delighted. And we believe that the peninsula is in safe hands with all those wonderful young people that we've got on our peninsula. Um, Mention on the morality, and the one thing that it's, it's once you get into the role of being a mayor, you realise how important it is to our communities. And our communities really do want to mayor. I'm repeating myself, and I know I've already said it, 500 plus engagements where our communities want the morality to be in part. I hope it is not diminished in any way in future years. I would like to say, uh, in passing, that I wish my predecessor, oh no, the incoming mayor and mayoress. <laughs> my predecessor, Jerry, I'd be delighted to see you here because uh, at, the end, at the end of your year you went too well health wise, but I'm delighted to see how well you are at the moment and I'm really delighted to see you here. But no, the incoming mayor and mayoress, Stephen Elaine, I wish you all the joy and success. I know you will enjoy it as much as soon as So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Now, now I've turned the page again to get onto it. 
First business is the election of the civic mayor. May I have the nominations for the office of civic mayor for the Metropolitan Mayor? <coughs> Sitting Mayor of the Metropolitan Borough of Wirral. And Mr Mayor, I'm, I'm delighted to be uh, here at this wonderful venue to propose Steve Fouts for the Office of Mayor because he is someone who has come from a very humble background to become, as he will tonight, the first citizen of the borough. And I believe Steve will set an example for all those who aspire to get on in life, whatever their standing. Steve was born in a council's house in Upper Brassy Street in the north end of Birkenhead in 1958, the youngest of eight children. Steve came from a, a poor but loving household. His father was a postman. According to Steve, although it didn't pay well, it was better than walking the streets. And his mother, his mother was a housewife. Times were hard. Steve says the family could never afford to go on holiday. And he remembers the time when his mum had to put his dad's overcoat into the pawnbrokers to get money to feed the family. After attending Lord Street Primary School, Steve went to Grange Secondary Modern, which then became Birkenhead Institute. Steve tells me he's never forgiven his war colleague, Councillor George Davis, because it was George, <coughs> as chair of the housing committee, who made the decision to demolish BI to make way for new housing on this site. At Birkenhead Institute, Steve experienced at first hand the benefits of a good comprehensive education, emerging with nine good O levels, as they were then in 1974. Steve then decided to enter the world of work. And it's interesting to contrast the prospects that young people leaving school had in 1974 compared with now, because Steve tells me that within a relatively short period of time, he had no less than 22 job interviews lined up. He took the first job he was offered, which was quality control technician at Spillers Foods on the Dock Road. From there, he went to work at Prices or Unikey Mechanicals, as they were later known. And in 1983, he started work with Unilever Research, where he has been ever since occupying various technical roles, producing fabric conditioner soaps and other personal care products. Politics has been an interest of Steve's for many years. Steve remembers chasing after people with tannoys during election campaigns when he was a boy. Steve has been a member of the trade union at school for 35 years and joined the Labour Party when he was just 21. A large part of Steve's motivation for becoming involved in politics has been a passion to help people in poorer communities like the one he grew up in to overcome the many barriers they face to achieve, achieve their dreams and ambitions. Steve was elected to Wirral Council in 1990 and has represented Claude Ward ever since then. He's occupied many roles, including leader, deputy leader, chief whip, and has served on numerous committees, including police authority, waste authority, he's chair of the planning committee, he's been vice chair of the social services committee, and chair of personnel. And Steve is currently a member of Mersey Travel and the director of Magenta Living Housing Association. Steve's had many interests, various interests, in time politics. He tells me he was a keen boy scout and appeared in a gang show at Gladstone Hall in 1970, where he played Cleopatra, <laughs> his first stage role. He, rem he remembers his opening line in that production to this day, and that was, Bless me, it's Mr. Whippy, <laughs> as a man with a whip passed in front of him. Now he tells me he's been waiting for a chance to deliver this line ever since, but I'm not sure of the morality is the, the best setting, Steve, for, uh, for this line. Steve was also a keen amateur footballer. He was a mean left back, and his nickname was Mad Max, as he used to take no prisoners when going in for tackles. In the late 1980s, Steve went on to manage an amateur team, Heather Brown, who played in the World Sunday League. And in the three years he was manager, the team won a League and Cup double. A 
As he enters his mayoral year, I know Steve is hoping that similar success will come to his other great football club, Everton FC. As, as Evertonians, we live in hope. <laughs> Finally, I must mention Steve's other great, I, I hesitate to call them talents. The first is his absolutely encyclopedic memory for extremely bad jokes. <laughs> uh, I was going to reel some of them up tonight, but then I suddenly realised probably most of his speeches he's made up of, of these jokes, so I, I probably better not. Um, he's also got two other, I was, I was his deputy for 12 years, so I know these things. He's got two other very unique uh, talents, um, which not many people know about. One is the ability to play the tune popcorn on his teeth with a pen or pencil. And he does an, an uncanny impression of the noise of the submarine in the 1960s series Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. I'm not sure, Steve, whether these skills will come in handy in your mayoral year, but we'll have to watch this space. So, Mr Mayor, in closing, I am proud to call Steve a friend as well as a colleague. The Steve I, perhaps I know, is a kind and considerate person. He has given 24 years of loyal service to Wirral Council. He's been through some difficult times personally, but he's always maintained his sense of humour and his determination to do his absolute best to improve the lives of the people he represents, and particularly those less fortunate than himself. Mr Mayor, Steve and his consort Elaine are an excellent team, and I know they will be fantastic ambassadors for Wirral and all of our residents. So, Mr Mayor, it gives me great pleasure to move that Councillor Steve Fouts be elected Civic Mayor of the Metropolitan Borough of Wirral. Thank you. Please do enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to appear behind me. 